It's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. Today, let's talk about moving with intention. Now, we've discussed change and we've dis discussed toxicity, but the next thing I think in this series of conversation, just to keep it in a beautiful flow, is to talk about our intentions and how we move in our intentions. Now, you might say, well, what exactly does that mean? I thought moving is the process, and that's exactly what we're worried about doing is making sure that we are moving. Moving is wonderful, but it's equivalent to being busy. Busy doesn't necessarily mean productive. It doesn't necessarily mean positive. It just simply means busy, moving possibly with or without intention. And today I really want you to focus on not just being busy, but making sure everything that you do has an intention attached to it. And hopefully that intention will lead you towards whatever your goal is that you're seeking for that movement. Now we all have our goals. You know, some of us are working on personal things within ourselves. Some of us are working on work-related career things. Some of us are working on relational things. Some of us are working on all three at the exact same time. Some are just trying to change characteristics about ourselves because everything else you feel like is great, but you'd like to make it better. No matter what it is, you have to work in a manner of understanding the intent is crucial. I like to start off my intent of my day by trying to bring in as much positive as I possibly can. Now, you might say, well, what, what do you mean, Priscilla? You know, you wake up, you meditate. Of course, of course, we've discussed it. If you have not seen the video, I'll link it in for you to find it. But you always want to make the first 10 minutes of your day about you and whatever your spiritual belief is. The meditation, the affirmation of what it is you're seeking, how you want to be in your life, how you're seeking your day to be a transformation of whatever it is you need to convert into something more positive and to, into something more intentional for your movement towards your goal and so on and so forth. So I like to say, I start my day off with an intention of success. Some days it's successful, some days it isn't. Some days I have to realize that even when it's not successful, it's successful because I would have learned from something that I would have felt maybe didn't go the way that I planned it. So if you catch what I'm saying, it's a mindset and really figure it out how it is you want to move every single day to make things happen in your life. Now, we're not talking about manifesting. And I know somebody's going to say, well, it sounds a lot like manifesting. It is not manifestation. Because to me, when you're talking about change, change is an action. It is not a word. It is not a process. It's a literal action. So if you're not changing, you're not moving, and you're not moving with intent. When you're manifesting, you're typically visualizing something that's going to happen or you want to happen, and you're trying to see yourself in it. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm all about that life as well. But I feel that manifestation, along with movement, but manifestation as a whole, requires you to understand that it's teaming your spirit within someone else's spirit to align to something completely different. Meaning I need to go to the gym every day. I don't need to manifest my movement to the gym. I actually need to get up, change my position, and do it intentionally. Kind of catch what I'm saying? So it puts you in a different mindset altogether. When you grab hold of the differences between what that part is, your intent of movement or your efforts of what you're doing every day are outlined properly. Meaning I like to actually use the calendar on my phone. I like to use the to-do list. I like to use the notes. I like to use the task. I like to identify what I've accomplished and what I have not accomplished for the day. And I like to set goals that are what I like to call short-term daily goals. Now, some people say, you know, what do you mean? Like, what, you know, what are you getting at? What I'm saying is that we have a smartphone. Typically, most of us who uh, live in this world today have a smartphone and it's pretty up to date, but we don't use half the features on the phone. We're notoriously not using the calendar and the task and things like that. And it puts you in a position where you don't get to utilize the fact that you might not actually remember what you need to do. So I like to start my day off by utilizing those resources that I keep on me every single day. I mean, let's just be honest. There are over 6 billion, with a B, people you have access to with that little device that you call a smartphone. So if you are really utilizing and moving with intent, 
you want to make sure this device that you have paid a lot of money for is assisting you as it should to get your things done. So you don't want to necessarily put things on your uh, daily calendar that you know you are not able to actually achieve. And what I mean by that, you know, we overshoot. We literally do more than we need to simply to make it look as if, you know, my day is just so busy and I'm always working. Blah, 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 blah. Typically people who do that, typically people who say that are so unstructured and so not able to do anything but procrastinate because it's overwhelming to continuously tell yourself to do things and you don't have the time or the resource to, resources to do it. It also puts you in a position where you, you're not as effective as you need to be. And again, your intention becomes something more of looking successful more so than being successful. Hopefully that makes sense. So I like to utilize those tools on my phone. So let's just go through it. A daily regime for me or something that I would say on a normal would actually consist of about seven and a half hours of work. And then there would be some schooling for me because I am in school. And then there'd also be some family time, some personal time. And then when I'm completely able to shut down and go to sleep. Now, somebody might say, that's absolutely impossible. There's no way you can achieve that. I would say, no, it's not impossible. Is it difficult? Sure. Is it difficult to sustain? Sure. But if I move in a manner where I'm not creating boundaries and structure, yet again, another video that is up on the channel, check it out. There's no way to actually quantify and qualify what you're doing every day. So you're doing a lot of things, but you're still not really being efficient and you're not moving with intent. Now, someone might say, well, you know, I do just fine in my day to day and I don't really need all that. Okay, this video is not for you. Sorry, but it wouldn't be for you if that's how you feel. This video is for the person who feels as if you are trying to achieve more or if at the end of the day, you do not feel as if you've accomplished what you're seeking out to accomplish. Now, there are also times in our lives that we can honestly say that some things come up and we're not able to actually make that intentional thing, that intentional movement happen for the day. Allow yourself also to forgive yourself for that and not to just half-ass something simply because you want to get it off of your daily checklist. Be very clear, be very conscious in every movement that you're making because to be late absolutely is not something that people want to do. You don't want to waste your time no other, nor other people's time. So you just want to be very conscious in every single movement that you make. So again, moving with intent, very, very difficult if you're not setting yourself up in just those two simple structural things to do. Outside of that, you just want to make sure that whatever you're also doing with your movement and your intentions of your movement lines up with what it is that's going to better you. You always understand that you are to be there for people and we are, I think, to be a blessing. So every blessing that we get, I believe it's supposed to be a blessing to also assist someone else. Like I don't believe blessing is just proprietary to me. If I'm blessed, I feel like I should be a blessing. If you feel the same way, then you also have to realize that there might be times in the day that even with all of that structure, there's just not enough time for you to make it happen. Or you're completely de deviated from your intents of what you want to do or your intention of what you want to do simply because there's something else or someone who needs your help. And you got to be careful with that because that can also fall into what I like to call Captain save a -ho position. Now you might say, proceeded, that's terrible, but it's just the term. Captain save a -ho means that you put someone in front of you that needs your assistance, but you do it with the intent of being their savior and to be validated within it. And most people say, I don't do that, girl. You know, when I help people, I only want to help people because that's really what I want to do. But then some of those people are the same people that go and hold conversations with other people about what you did for the day to justify why you didn't accomplish what you had set out to do. Don't be that person. That is absolutely terrible. If you bless someone, bless someone and keep it pushing. But at the same time, be very conscious that those type of things and that type of a thing could possibly happen to put you in a strange scenario. And if it does, again, always know that there is no coincidence. And if that is the case and you need to be a great friend or a great colleague or spouse or mother or what father or whatever it is, understand that that is your intent for the day and pick right back up on the things that you need to do. So what I want to talk about 
and really stress, stress the point of is that you have to be organized. You have to understand that creating the structure and boundaries that I've talked about since last year are key in order to move with proper intentions. You also want to have the time to understand how to process what you've done, note what you've done, and put some type of plan in action for the next day. And at the end of your day, before you go to sleep, you want to put yourself in a position where you're able to kind of reflect on that, see what worked, what didn't work, and do better the next day. Because again, I don't believe that change is a process. I don't believe it's a, oh, I'm working on that. Oh, you know, I'm going to do better. Oh, yeah, girl, I know all about that. Yeah, I'm going to start that next week. Doesn't work that way. You have to work in a daily where you understand that tomorrow is not promised. So you have to make sure if you want to really be effective, I believe, to make sure every day you're treating it as if it's your last. I know when there's been some deaths in um, the U.S. currently, you hear a lot of people talking about, you know, make sure you hug your loved ones, make sure you love the people that you love outwardly and expressively so that they know I'm going to go deeper and add you into that equation. And you make sure that you are loving and outwardly expressing your love for yourself first so that you can be effective in that because otherwise it still doesn't work. It still doesn't work. So today let's really try to do better and just start with those few things to move with better intention and to move with purpose within our day. Okay. As always, thanks so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate you coming forth. You guys outdid yourself on that last video, baby. I can't even tell you that is the most views that I have ever gotten. And I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. Thank you for the new subscribers. Hey, I hope that you are enjoying this channel. I hope that you start to take and utilize all the videos that are in um, the upload sequence of what YouTube is. And I look forward to all of your comments. Remember to like, share, love, smoke screen it. Remember to always keep the channel in your mindset when you're seeing somebody struggling and you know there might be a video up that could help them. So thank you so much. As usual, I will see you on Thursday and always remember to do three things. Live life authentic. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.